Welcome to Evelyn's Dark Web of Horror. I am Evelyn Ravencroft. This is Azrael. Thank you for joining us on this delightfully dreadful evening. You've seen my guest tonight before from an earlier episode where we talked about Lake Hickory Haunts. Ooh, gives me the shoes. But did you know that his reign of terror doesn't end there? He also owns and operates Escape Escape Room in Hudson, North Carolina. Unlike Lake Hickory Haunts, there are no grotesque monsters lurking about. But for the heart-pumping fear and feeling of intimate danger is still there. Let's take a look. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Craig, you found the walkie-talkie. Listen, I've got some bad news for you guys. When I left you in that chamber, the entrance collapsed behind me. I fear you only have one hour of oxygen remaining. Please hurry. I am hey, Look, where's the bus? Where's the bus? Please welcome my special guest this evening, owner and operator of Escape Escape Room, Ryan Suttlemeyer. Good to see you again, Evelyn. Good to see you too, my dear. Delightful as always. Of course. First of all, I'd like for you to tell me, well actually, first of all, I will say, the last time we talked about Lake Hickory Haunts and I couldn't sleep that night, it was <laughs> rekindling all of the horror that I came upon there. I think this one won't be as scary, so that's good. Yes, that's great. Maybe I will get some sleep tonight. So first of all, tell me about your escape room. So we have two escape rooms at Escape. We have Curse of the Mummy and we have Bomb Squad. So completely unique themes. Each escape room, uh, you have one hour to escape. If you don't escape, uh, you're locked in there forever. Oh, no! <laughs> you're not coming home! <laughs> if you don't escape within the hour, of course, you're let out of the room. Um, but it's not... Some people, you know, they're all about escaping. and But for the most part, it's the experience of progressing through the rooms. Uh, our Curse of the Mummy escape room has three rooms within it. So not only are you, you going from puzzle to puzzle, you're also going puzzle to puzzle to ro another room to another room. Uh, and Bomb Squad has five rooms, um, so they're they're much larger and more uh, detailed than most people believe. So, so five rooms, you have to like get yourself out of one and get into the next. Exactly. So, so you never really know when you're gonna escape, or uh, in the case of Bomb Squad, save the nation. So in Bomb Squad, you're disarming bombs. Uh, because there's a uh, there's a nuclear device and an EMP device that are that are going to detonate and destroy the nation. So you feel kind of like Tom Cruise from Mission Impossible uh, in Bomb Squad. But in Curse of the Mummy, you're just like Indiana Jones. So you know you're escaping these uh, ancient Egyptian traps um, and trying to you know escape before the air runs out. So we had you here before and talked about LHH, Lake Hickory Haunts, I should say. Tell me how it's similar and different. So they're similar in the fact that they're immersive. You know, while they're there, they're not distracted by everyday life, politics and family issues and, you know, bills and distractions, you know, and nowadays emails and, you know, 
uh, 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 spam callers, all that kind of crazy stuff, right? So while you're in there, you're just focused on that. You get to forget about everything else. Uh, that's the way that they're similar. They're different in the fact that Lake Hickory Haunts is, of course, scary, and it, Escape is not Escape. Um, escape is not scary. So, uh, you know, Curse of the Mummy has some suggestive themes of, you know, dark and themed environment, uh, but it's not made to be scary. You know, most of the time children are fine with it. Um, and uh, But the sets are very immersive at Lake Hickory Haunts and at Escape. So you mentioned children. So who um, tends to enjoy the escape room more? Men, women, children, ravens? Uh, women. So uh, women is our largest demographic, uh, and behind women are, of course, you have couples and families, um, and then you also have uh, team building groups. So we have a lot of, of uh, companies that love to do team building, because there's other team building activities that work as well that are more physical based. But in my opinion, things such as uh, ropes courses, uh, that's not as great team building for a corporate environment. You know, because you're practicing a physical thing and imagining that the ground is lava and working together to get over it or whatever. Uh, and, but then you're not in a physical environment in your office. So, But the escape rooms for team building, when you go into it, you don't have to imagine. You're actually there, you know. So uh, companies have a great time. And I'm, I'm telling you, when you lock 10 people in a room together, you better like each other <laughs> get really close or really it's going to be miserable. So when they get out of there, uh, they, they're a lot more comfortable working with each other. So it, it definitely helps uh, team building groups. Because they get that common adrenaline rush and they've conquered something together. Exactly. And, and they just come out completely different than the way they went in. Hopefully they don't come out mad at each other because they didn't escape. No, no, we, we don't let that happen. That's great. So I've heard that um, people get engaged there. Tell me about that. They do. So we have had some proposals there, um, you know, and don't want to give anything away as far as exactly how it was done, but there's some uh, inventive ways to uh, for proposals and engagements to happen there. And uh, and we also have the footage available, so if we do have any any men that, that are interested in that, uh, they can definitely contact us and uh, we'll be glad to help make that happen. Wouldn't that be delightfully sweet? There's hearts flying up everywhere right now, Ryan. You're making love connections at your escape room. You're not escaping that. You're entering into something forever. So let's see what is next at Escape. Do you plan to add anything? Yeah, so, so we'll, definitely, uh, we'll definitely be adding more in the future. Uh, there's a lot of uh, private information which we, we can't necessarily discuss. But, uh, of course, you know, there, there's no... Of course we're going to be growing because if something's not growing, it's dying. You know, so... Um, so we're always going to be adding new things, changing things, uh, and expanding in many different ways. So our social media pages, Facebook, our website, escapenc.com, Instagram, all of that is definitely going to keep them updated on those new things going on. Um, so yeah, we, we've got a lot of things that we, we plan on doing, but things we can't necessarily disclose right now. Right. You can't give too much away. Even those who have done it before, you, you don't want to give away all of the secret. Yeah, that, that too. Yeah. So like Lake Hickory Haunts, you're only open certain times of the year. When are you open at Escape? So Escape is open year-round. Um, in the summer and the winter, we're open Tuesday through Saturday, uh, whereas in the fall and the, sum, uh, and the spring, we're open Thursday through Saturday. Uh, and on those days, weekdays, we're open uh, 5 to 9, Tuesday through Thursday. Uh, Friday and Saturday, we're open 12 p.m. to 11 p.m. Uh, the best way for them to create a booking is just to go online, escapenc.com, and on the Book Now tab, uh, you can basically just see all the booking slots that are available there. And, you know, you can select your participants, and it's, it's very easy to see it that way. Okay, and it's Escape, X-C-A-P-E, Yep, X-S-C-A-P-E. Yes, for those looking for the website. So tell me how much it costs usually to go get trapped in this room of terror. So per person it's $25 for adults. That's on weekends. Uh, we're, also, we're currently running a sale where on weekdays uh, the price is only $20 per person. Uh, on weekends we offer a $5 discount for children and seniors and $3 discount for military, police, fire, EMS. 
Yes, and then we also do have special pricing available for our team building groups uh, as well as birthday parties. So we have a private party room which we make available for use for uh, for you know companies or for birthday parties, church, youth groups, things like that as well. So for that, they should email us escapeinfo at gmail uh, or give us a call. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining me this evening, Ryan. It's always a pleasure. Of course. And I really appreciate all that you do. You're just a wonderful little dear. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for tuning in, lovelies. Until next time. <laughs>